Hey there, it's Mr. Crawl. We are now going to do chapter two in our video book. Chapter two, we're taking all that equipment we talked about and really starting to learn how to use it and operate it in different ways. And you're going to think to yourself, yeah, I know how to work a camera. I have one on my phone. Uh, I know how this all works. Um, and that is probably true to some extent. But if that were all we needed to know, then we wouldn't need this course. We wouldn't need um, an entire class on how to produce video. So we're gonna learn the ins and outs and a lot of the little details. It's gonna include some more terminology and the reasons why we use some of the features that are in the cameras that we have, okay? So getting started on chapter two, several objectives. Um, we're not going to talk a lot about videotape because that is a very outdated system. We're going to do almost everything digital. So uh, just be aware of that. It's worth learning because it's, it's, uh, it was around for so long. But the stuff we're going to be doing is, is going to be in a digital medium. Okay. So chapter two, we talk a little bit about the production and equipment. And what's important with the equipment is that you understand where all these things are on your camera or your device because they're going to be different depending on the brand and the style and they're going to uh, work in different ways so never just jump in and do something without spending a second with your um, equipment to know that you understand how to use that so with all that said we're going to learn things about recording zooming um, what what is white balance you're going to read about that and figure that out as I scroll over here, we've got all these um, bold sections are definitely worth double checking. So we've got a figure down here, it's talking about white balance and making things look good. Um, our auto exposure, our auto focus, these are all things that are going to vary depending on what kind of camera you're using. Page 22. We're going to see um, this section here about preparing the tape. Read through it. We'll probably never do that um, because what we're doing is digital. Talks a little bit about batteries. That's important that we use our uh, equipment properly and charge them when we need to be somewhere where we can't plug them in. Um, the last thing you want to do is be uh, out of luck because your camera doesn't work because you didn't charge it. Um, we'll learn the ins and outs of what all the gizmos on a tripod in, uh, are for um, because every one of them can be used in different ways and some in similar ways just to make sure that the way you're filming makes sense for what you're doing. Okay. Important things like a pre-shoot checklist, making sure you have everything ready so that when you're recording you can do it properly. Now again, we'll see things like videotape on here, we don't have to worry about that but we might insert things like make sure you have enough storage space on the camera or the SD card or the flash drive or the computer or whatever you're recording your digital items to. Okay. A little bit about operation and the viewfinder. So what we're looking through to make sure we know what we're recording. A lot of bullet points here about how to use the equipment and use things properly. So as long as you're reading through these, you're going to be fine. I'm not super concerned, but again, anything that when we're talking about anything that deals with tape, we're probably not going to be seeing that in the course. Okay. But really try to understand what some of these things mean when they're talking, when, when you see those bulleted or, or highlighted things, uh, because they're important terms to know. Um, now we're getting into how do we not just hit record, but how do we make sure what we're recording looks good on camera. So uh, this rule of thirds, we're going to talk about a lot, a lot, and that's going to make up for good composition during our film uh, or our shoots. Okay. So really take a look at these pictures. These pictures are a little outdated, but um, what they're showing you is really sound and it's, it's going to be great to know that um, what you filmed isn't just on film, it's actually a quality uh, picture and the way it's composed on the screen makes sense. And when I say film, I mean digital, of course. Okay, a lot more when it deals with camera angles. Um, 
This one, pretty interesting. Moving the camcorder microphone closer to the subject captures better sound quality. This is a book that's called Video, right? right? But there's going to be a ton we're doing with audio, um, whether that be setting up audio for a film, a shoot, or whether that's in the podcast booth, uh, recording a podcast or a voiceover, anything like that. We're going to be talking a lot about audio as we get through the course. Um, so you'll get some supplemental materials with that. Talks a little bit how to direct. Managing your shoot, so making sure things go well with the people you're using because you don't want to waste their time and they don't want their time wasted. A little troubleshooting guide here, a little more information. So really just read through this and then when you get to the end, there's a review to look at. Um, be sure you understand what everything in this review is and then the main terms that they brought up during that chapter. So again, it's not a long chapter, but it's important that you read through that and make sure you understand what's there and what they're asking you to, to do and know. Uh, once we get through this chapter, then we're really with the nuts and bolts of trying to film and create. Be sure to watch uh, the videos attached to this section of the uh, chapter two in Canvas because it'll add some more techniques and things for you to just put in your brain as things we should be doing as we're filming.